heroes, welcome. Let's get warmed up. Let's start to draw the knee towards the chest. Open up the arms, get activated. So squeeze those glutes, draw the low belly in. Let's get warmed up, open up some space before this awesome workout. Here we go. Good. Taking some nice deep breaths. Telling that body we're about to move. Three, two, one. Spread out your arms and legs when you're ready. Opposite fingers to toes. Weight in the heels. When you come up, squeeze the glutes. Draw the low abs in. Three, two, one more. Give me one more. Now I want you to come up, sink into a side lunge and scoop the arms down and then right in line with your shoulders. Good, feel that activation, squeeze the glutes. Good, swing them up but with control. Remember we're warming up, so we're trying to feel everything, trying to get everything activated. Good, on this side, just give me a little pulse, two, three, come up, again, pulse, two, three, come up, again, pulse, two, three, come up again, pulse, two, three. Don't go to the other side yet. Open up your arms, bring them behind your head, scoop those low abs in. Just reach your arms out once you come into that bent over position. Come up, reach up for the sky. This is about a lot of things, but most importantly, I want you to think of those abs activating and the lower abs, right? Can you drive them in? Can you breathe through that? Reach up to the sky, good. Hands down, let's do pulse, two, three, drive up and squeeze. Pulse, two, three, drive up and squeeze. Pulse, two, three, drive up and squeeze. Pulse, two, three, up and squeeze. Good, give me a little plie here. Reach the hands to the sky, a little pulse, two, three, and up, let's go. Pulse, two, three, pulse, two, three, up and stand, arm circles towards me. Scoop those abs in like crazy. Four, three, two, one, and back. Four, three, two, one. Come into that plie, take a little step, and up. Down, take a little step, and up. Down, we're gonna turn this into a bob and we get our arms ready for just a couple boxing moves. Hands up right here, go side, side. Good, scoop the low abs in. Nice, throw some punches towards me, right to the nose and mouth. A little flick of the wrist. Use your abs to bob and weave. You got it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the elbow up. Good, little shoulder mobility. You know I love that, three, to take a little hook, so come from the left, hook, hook. That's kind of an exaggerated hook, but you get it. I'm just opening up the lats here. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Walk the speed in a little bit closer. Jumping jacks, let's go. If you don't want a jumping jack, step, 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 or jump rope. So remember, this is a progression workout today. We're gonna build on a movement. So if one of the progressions seems a little too intense, I'll show you ways to take it down. If it seems not intense enough, I'll show you how to spice it up. But I just want you to feel good, sweat, walk away from this, feeling better than you did when you hit start. Thank you for hitting start. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Get a sip of water if you need it. Let me show you how block one's gonna work. So we're gonna have lower body component and then upper body. The lower body will still involve upper body. So you're gonna start with medium weights. Lunge back, drive them up to an overhead press, okay? From there, we're gonna drop the weights, progress it into dynamic lunges, and then we're going full out split jerk, okay? 30, eight seconds off, 30, eight seconds off, 30. You'll be sweaty, because we do it twice. 
Here we go. Three, two, one. So alternate that back lunge, drive the weights up, bicep by the ears. Go at your pace, squeeze the glutes, back lunge. You don't have to tap that knee down to the floor, let it hover. Exhale as you drive up, squeeze the glutes. Activate all parts of the body, not just the legs and shoulders. Come on. Scoot those low abs in. Good. Keep that knee underneath the hip. Excellent. Take a quick break. Lower the weights down. Now, we spice it up a little bit. So we pass our arms under and we take it to a jump. If you don't want that intensity, just take your lunges back a little faster. Okay, so we're just increasing our speed a little bit. Let's go. Keep going, keep going. Music runs out, but we don't. <laughs> Let's go. Remember, that knee is still under the hip. Two and one, okay. Shake it out, grab the weights again. Careful grabbing the weights. Heart rate's up, split jerk. So, I use power, I send the leg back, hold it. Let's go. Nice. You get a little longer break before we do it again. Come on, scoop it in, drive power. Come on, and one. All right, take a little break. Tap it out. We're gonna do those three again. If the power move is a little too intense for you, I'm gonna give you the option to do a single leg deadlift into a raise. Other side into a raise, okay? So if you felt that, you're like, uh, not for me. Second time around, you give me that. You ready to go? Three, two, one. Slow and controlled. Alternate the back lunge. Let's go. Exhale. Come on. You know we're only building on this, so embrace that control, that slow movement, that good form. Dynamic lunges. You could do shuffles here too. Pass the ball under. Let's go. 30 seconds. If you want to go pulse two, pulse two, make it work something you can conquer. You will feel breathy though. That's where we want you. Chest up. Scoop these abs in, come on. Woo! Three, two, one. Okay, shake it out. Grab the weights, always careful grabbing your weights. Grab them. Split your power move. So it's like the first movement but there's power in it. Or you're at that single leg deadlift, drive it up, push one. Go to the other side if you want. Woo, I messed it up. <laughs> there we go. Light on the feet. Power through the legs. Woo, breathe. Tap it out. Okay, we finished our two times. We're gonna go to two upper body movements. Actually, two rounds of upper body. And then this friend will revisit us. I'll tell you when. Tap it out, you have a little more time. Okay, upper body round. We're gonna go into some boxing, no weight. We're gonna start with a jab, add a cross, and then a jab, jab, cross, cross, okay? So take another eight. Just kidding, ignore that. Here we go. Three, two, 
three, two, stand on one side. Just jab, jab, jab. First 30, not so bad. Good, right to the nose and mouth, jab. Other hand up, protect the face. Okay, feet, there's some staggered positioning there. Using your hip a little bit to deliver power. Ready to pick it up a little. Second 30, we pick it up. Shuffle it out. We're going jab, cross, jab, cross. One, two, one, two, three, two, one. Jab, cross. Let's go. Right to the nose and mouth. Jab, cross. One, two. Just on this side. Remember, we do it twice. So we'll hit the other side. This is going to tone our arms. It's also going to get them ready for when we pick up the weights. Breathe through it. Ha. Five, four, three, two, one. Shuffle out. Okay. Eight seconds off. You're going to add a hook to it. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Okay, it's going to be fast. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> jab, cross, hook, hook. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Hook, hook. Right to the nose, cheek, cheek. Yes. Cheek, cheek. Use your lower body to hook, hook. Hook, hook. Hook, hook. We're going to go right into the other side. Two, one. Shuffle, other side. Okay? So we're going to start with just that jab. Let's go. Jab, jab, jab. Right to the nose and mouth. Come from the last shoulder. Power. Retract with power. With control. Good. That's it. Feels like you want to do more. Good. That's why it's progression. Okay, shake it out. We add jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Even if the tempo changes, we go with it. Three, two. Stay with it. It might change. It might stop. You keep this tempo. Jab, cross. Right to the nose and mouth. Power, power. Control when you pull back. Retract. It's non-stop. Keep it up. Good, good. You work those arms. Shake it out. We add the hook hook, right? So it's jab, cross, cheek, cheek. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Jab, cross, cheek, cheek. Ha, ha. Now here's what's going to happen. We're going to revisit that lower body, that back lunge. One more time, and then we'll revisit these jabs and hooks one more time. So technically, everything you see, you see three times today, but initially you see it twice, back to back. Good. Grab those weights. We're going right into it. Remember, we're going back lunge. Drive it up. Let's go. This is the final round. We go through the lower body one time, and then the upper body, even though the lower body's technically compound. We got some upper body stuff going on. Let's go, team. Scoop it in. Woo, lower it down. Ready? Dynamic lunges or shuffles. Let's go get the heart rate up. Big arms, even if you're doing shuffles. Okay, so if you're doing shuffles, give me big arms. Yes, hover, get that knee under the hip. Chest open, get the abs in, power. You can do pulses. Let's keep breathing. Come on. Come on. All right. <laughs> Rack 
back the weights, split jerk. So one leg goes back, the weights power up. Come on. Scoop in. Superstar move, superstar. You know it. Woo. Remember, you can take that deadlift, alternate it into a front, I know I'm not doing the actual single leg. <laughs> you know what I mean. Two and one. Lower down, I know. I'm not giving you much of a break. Go center, punch. So this is really recovery. Even though it's the first 30 of that upper body progression. Come on, scoop it in. Flick the wrist, right to the nose and mouth. Breathe through it. Okay. Feeling better, feeling controlled? Good, because we're gonna double it up. Jab, cross, but center. So, one, two, go. Make that fist right to the nose and mouth. Go, go. Come on. We're going into new movements from here. We've got squats on deck. But first, you're going to hit jack, cross, hook, hook, jack, cross. Coming up. Good. Keep the low abs scooped in. Spine long. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Three, two, one. So we go jack, cross, hook, hook. Yeah, cross. I don't care what arm you start on. If you want to switch it up halfway through, right now I'm leaning with my left. I'm going to switch it up. So I'm going to go left, just to balance it out. You can do that or you stay on your side. Whatever feels natural to punch with first. Hook, hook. And you can get off the rhythm a little bit. Pop, pop. Keep going. Keep going. Jeff. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. You got it. Your first blog of work done. All right. We're doing good. Hold on. Ignore that timer. Okay. We're nice and toasty now. Here's what we're going into. We got to squat first. Okay. Then we're going to go. We're going to keep our um, arms down. We're going to squat, curtsy, and curl. Squat with the, actually the weights in the middle. Okay, then we're going to full skaters. You ready? And three, two. Now when you squat, just front load them. First 30, squat, down, squeeze. If you want that rhythm, you don't have to take it. Weight in the heels. Remember, sink back and out and squeeze. Back and out, squeeze. are going to hang in the center. We're going to squat. We're going to drive one leg behind the other. When we're curtsying down, we curl it. Then we squat. We go to the other side. Okay, let's do it. Squat. Curtsy. If the curtsy doesn't feel right on the knees, give me a squat and then a curl. Okay? go into a low curtsy, up and over, swing the arms. Up and over, swing the arms. Okay? And you can take out that little arm swing and just go side to side. If that doesn't work, punch up, tap. Punch, tap. Okay? 10 seconds. I know the heart rate's up. Three, two, boom. Okay, quick break. Tap it out. We're gonna do that again. 
squats, yes? Get ready, grab your weights. We got three. Squat. Come on. Legs are weak now. Big exhales. Squat. Scoop in. Come on. upper body. So we're going to go into a half windmill with our palms out. Then we're going to add a serve diagonal. Then we're going to do an isometric hold. It's going to be spicy. You ready? Grab those medium weights. You got shoulder, you got pecs. Some good stuff going on. Squeeze the glutes, abs it, and shoulders down and back. Exhale. Don't lean back, okay? Don't do this. Squeeze the glutes, embrace the core, right? Brace the core, I mean, embrace it too. <laughs> Draw the belly under the spine. Embrace the feeling. Okay, quick break, we add on. It's gonna go right with the drop. Three, maybe not, maybe ahead of it. Windmill, serve. Oh yeah, there's definitely like this huge build. There we go. Woo! Come, serve it up. Fly them out. Serve up. Use your bicep to pull them back. Down towards your hips. Squeeze the boots like crazy. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay. Little isometric hold. So one weight is going front, one out to the side, and we're gonna hold it. I'm gonna count you into it. There we go. So we hold four, three, two, one. Take it down. Two shoulder rolls back. Other side. Hold four, three, two, one, and down. Maybe one big shoulder roll back. Hold four, three, two, one. Woo! Big shoulder roll back. This up looks like crazy. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Do it again. Okay, this time we're gonna hinge. It's gonna feel different. And we're gonna come out this way, okay? Let's do it. So hinge. Oh, sorry, palms in. Out. So a little bend in the elbow. Out. Out and back. A little more back now. Good. Out and back. Woo. Okay. Come up. All right. Back to the windmill. We go here. Serve it up. Serve it up. Squeeze 
like crazy. Come back to that bend. Okay? Keep the abs in like crazy. Here we go. Bring them up. Hold. Two. Take it down. Draw them back. Pulse. Two. Down. Draw them back. Come in. Pulse. Two. Down. Draw them back. Pulse. Two. Draw them back. Pulse. Two. Woo! That's how my back feels right now. Pulse, two, <laughs> yes, pulse, two, okay, quick rest. We have squats again, you ready? Three, two, one, we hit each one one more time, squat it out, squat it out, come on, down and squeeze. Get it back. Toes point out, 11 and one. Now for the upper body, I gave you a couple different choices just to kind of move that sensation a little bit throughout the whole upper body. So you choose which one you like. When we get this bonus round. Curtsy. Here we go. Squat. Yeah. Hey, fifteen.
We're getting there, team. We're getting there. Okay, so we have a compound round. Whew. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go lower body, upper body, lower body up. So it's pure lower body, pure upper body, a little bit of cardio flair. We'll do that twice. And then we're gonna go onto the mat and crush our ass. Okay? So we're gonna start with a little side kick action. Kick and tap, kick and tap. Now, you don't have to be there. You can be here. You can hold on to something wherever you're at. Let's get those inner and outer thighs. Let's get that cardio build. Three, two, one. Let's go, kick and reach. Okay, so imagine your heel. I have a door right there. So I think of like kicking the door open. Chop, chop. Remember, we can be controlled right here with the abs in. Make it less of a cardio move, more of that inner outer thigh. We can rotate front and back. Grab the weights now. Okay. High pull, and then we'll do the kick on the other side. Let's go. Exhale, bring those weights right up by the chest, but also think of the shoulders going up and back. Don't think of them driving. I don't want them up here by your ears. Up and back. Use the pec muscles to push them down. Use the back muscles to pull them up. Back of the shoulders. Two and one, lower them down briefly. Shake it out, we're kicking to the other side. So we're either kicking, punching down, or we have that Side kick, and let's go. Woo! Sometimes I lean too much, and I fall over. You can add like a little. I like to exaggerate the breathing to remind you to breathe. You can be here, remember. Use that heel. Oh yeah. Good, get those weights again. Okay, not a high pull this time, but a pull the weights out into the side. Come on. if you want to do them together. Little rotation at the top. Don't use your wrist so much. Put it in the bicep to pull up. Sometimes the wrist is like, I got this, when really it's meant for the top part of the arm. Shoulders down away from the ears. Put the power in the muscle that's supposed to do this job, the bicep. Good. Keep the weights, let's get those lovely calves. Squeeze the glutes like crazy, you come up, down. Send the weights back just a little bit. We have a tricep movement, then we go to the mat for abs. Squeeze those glutes, shoulders away from the ears. Little bend in the knees, don't lock out the knees. Try to tap lightly. 
and then calves power you back up again. You can land all the way, but try to be light. Good. Okay. Now hinge. You might need to switch to lighter weights, and that's fine, okay? So hinge, bend in the elbow, scoop the abs in, send them back, push back with the tricep. The top of the arms. Let's go with control. Scoop the abs in, come on. Good. Okay, now we're going right down in the mat. So if you need more time, take it. Okay, lower down, join me on the mat. Forearm plank, shoulders down away from the abs, <laughs> I mean away from the ears. Okay, draw the abs in, squeeze the glutes. Hold for 30 seconds. Join when you're ready if you took a little bit of a break. Push into the ball of the foot, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the booty. I'll let the song play as a reminder that even though you're in plank wearing the abs, your booty is helping you. It's helping you stay activated. And help you get that back in alignment. Side plank. So push it up here. Or if you want, you could be clamshell or modified side plank with this down. Okay? Just hold it, shoulder over the elbow. Good, you can stagger the legs here. Just a little isometric hold, keep those hips going up. Okay, now you're gonna switch to the other side. I'm gonna switch this way just so I'm facing you, but you can turn the total other side. Put your body in like a straight line, remember, you can drop the bottom knee. You can open and close here. You can stagger. Shoulder over the elbow. Push those legs together, hips up to the sky. Good, imagine like beach ball right here, keep pushing you up. Okay, tabletop the legs. Lift your head, neck, and shoulder as one. Okay, now draw the knees in and then drive the heels out. Draw them into a crunch. Draw them in. Push out, extend. Draw in, out. Keep the inner thighs pushing together. Keep that tailbone heavy. Good, okay, now, hold your arms here. Lower the legs just a little bit, head, neck, and shoulders up as one. You can crisscross your arms here. Flutter. Keep your neck relaxed. Little crisscross. Feel your thighs push together. Come on. Still more heavy, I know it burns. Work it out, work it out, work it out. <laughs> work it out, work it out, work it out. Breathe through it. Tailbone heavy, keep going. Bridge the hips. Push the forearms in. Bring a knee towards the chest. Knee towards the chest. Squeeze the booty, squeeze it. It's a powerhouse, right? You get so much strength from the glutes to do all of your favorite things, cycling, running, squats. Keep the hips driving up. You're almost done, come on. Okay, feet up to the sky, arms up. You're gonna go pulse, two, three, and down. You're gonna lower one leg, and then the other, if you want it. Or you can pulse the whole time, two, three. Or you can lower both down, not, uh, not all the way. One, two, 
three, lower down, control it, and up. Pulse, two, three, lower down, control, and up. Don't let that tailbone rise. Pulse, two, three, down, and up. Last one, just catch your leg here. Pulse, two, pulse, so get a little stretch while you work the abs. Let's go. Again, let's just get into a nice, sorry for that timer. Let's just cross one arm over the other. Grow tall through that spine. Thank you guys so much for working out with me today. It's a cloudy, rainy, icy, I'm not really sure what it's doing outside. Lots of things. So, it's nice to get a little sweat going. Alright, I'll let you go before I start the on the line. Have a great day. I'll see you guys soon.